Hey guys, welcome back to the video. And so in today's video, uh, I'm going to be working on my truck. Um, so long story short, uh, I've been thinking about this for a long time. Um, I got a new job and it's an hour, about an hour drive from where I'm currently living. I'm still living with my parents, I'm 19. Um, and I got a new job and it's about an hour away. And I've always wanted to live small. Uh, I watch this YouTuber called Maverick. Um, or Mav Maverick, he he does a lot of truck camping. He uh, actually lives in the back of it. He not lives, but he camps out of the back of his truck. Uh, he has a truck cab and lives in the back. But I want to transform the inside of my truck into a livable space. So I've thought about it for a little bit, a couple of days, thinking how I can make the inside of my truck a livable space where I can live out of it 24 seven. Um, obviously, I'd have to get a gym membership or. Uh, go to truck stops and stuff to take showers and uh, stuff like that. But my whole my truck's a little messy right now. I got a bunch of camera gear and camping gear and uh, a Jackery. If you guys don't know what Jackery is, it's like a big power station and that's a solar panel back there. Uh, I want to remove this seat and the whole back row and this center console. It's already removed. I bought the truck like this, so like I could take this out right now. Um, but I want to take all of this out. And this floorboard uh, is up higher than that floorboard. And I just kind of just want to put US uh, plywood all down, all back here, and basically make a big flat platform all around and put my small bed right here. And I'd have all this free space um, to basically keep up my clothes and uh, extra gear. You guys probably, probably don't understand what uh, I'm trying to do, but uh, trust me, I'll walk you through and this will be recording non-stop through the whole process so you guys will understand what i'm trying to do um now i'm not going to use the whole interior for you know storing stuff and stuff stuff like that um i'm obviously going to buy like uh waterproof totes and stuff to put in the very back of my truck to keep clothes in and stuff like that now you want to live small you don't want to be be bringing a bunch of extra stuff that you're not going to use i'm obviously just going to bring clothes um and this camera gear and um daily necessities like alarm clock and stuff like that now i'm not going to be doing this right away like i said i start my new job monday i'm going to make the hour trip for the first week or two just to get used to my job and then i'm going to try to go off on my own and actually live out of my truck go exploring and uh stuff like that so other than that i'm going to head to home depot grab a couple two by fours and uh plywood you guys are probably wondering what the two by fours are for um basically to make sure this platform is nice and sturdy is not going to go anywhere i'm putting footings on the bottom of it all over um so I'm gonna go there and I also want to go to Harbor Freight and buy a hard case to put all my camera gear in. Um, so lately I bought a bunch of camera gear and there's a bunch of different small little bags and I just wanna buy one hard case for uh, camera gear. Okay, I just got back. I was gonna take you guys in there and record, but there was a lot of people, and uh, I've never really recorded um, with people around yet, and it's gonna be really awkward, especially for the first time, it's gonna be really awkward. Um, but I got the wood, I got one piece of, one sheet of plywood, and four, uh, four by tens, uh, or two by, two by four by tens, um, and I'm pretty sure that should be enough. Uh, I definitely got more two by fours than I need, but the US uh, or the plywood or whatever is 
not really it's it's a big sheet but it's i don't think it's wide enough so we'll make it work um but it's only half inch though uh the real thick stuff was like 40 bucks a sheet and i'm not trying to spend that money right now um so i just got a half inch piece of plywood um and four pieces two by fours and now i'm gonna go to a different store uh harbor freight and buy a case for all my camera gear and i'm gonna head home and probably start taking the seats out of my truck everybody hates on harbor freight uh, i don't know if you guys have one near you or where you live but it's basically like a really really cheap tools that are nobody really goes there because they break easy or they think they do and a bunch of bunch of cheap stuff but uh this thing right here talk about heavy duty thick you could probably run this over with the truck and it wouldn't break it's like really thick durable i had my drone out earlier today that's why it's not in the case but right here it is nice and thick and it's really big uh there's a knob right here to turn on like waterproof or make sure it's waterproof uh to suck the air out or something like that uh but that's basically what it is it looks bigger in person uh, the camera's making it look really small uh but basically what you do uh these this foam is in really small square blocks it's cut already if you can you guys can see that you basically just pull it out um there's different layers but basically what i'm gonna use this for is my gopros my batteries my dji all my camera equipment i don't have a lot i guess i don't have my dji uh camera drone and my gopro and batteries and stuff so it'll all fit um obviously you know if i get more camera gear i'll buy another one or they have bigger ones too uh, i'll buy a bigger one or another one of these uh but i'm really excited it's gonna organize my stuff a lot more and make sure it's in the exact same spot where it's supposed to be it's just gonna look really good once i'm done with it okay oh i just got home got the wood back here got this kit right here i took out of the box i should probably take this stuff out first especially since this is a really fragile So right here's the bolts. There's two back here. Then there's four seat belts and stuff back there. They look pretty big, so bigger than that. It's probably the one that's missing, isn't it? Oh, that's two. And of course, I'm not gonna be able to fit uh, fit an impact or anything back there, so it's gonna be all by hand. I think I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? I took that seat out already once, so. Those aren't really tightened that really extremely tight. I'm gonna go through and loosen them up real quick. See, like this, it's gonna be pain in the butt because it can only go an inch. You just do a little crank and then go. So, which that's for the seat belt. I'm not going to worry about that one right away. So we're going to get all these seats and stuff out first because it looks like it's about to rain. So get all the seats out and I backed up to the garage because if it starts raining, I don't know if you guys can see the dark clouds up there, but if it starts raining. Hurry up, get that wood inside. Two bolts done. Which is seat, which those bolts over there are already taken out. <laughs> oh boy. 
I took those out. Well, last time I took that seat out, I took out the bolts for this seat too, I guess, and just never put them back. So this seat's already done. Oh boy, that's safe. Which luckily I'd never have people riding in the back. Cause I don't got friends. Uh, we're gonna have to take this, uh, this sucker out. About to get carpet rash, dude. I'm rubbing up all up on this carpet really fast and it's starting to burn. I'm starting to wonder if I can take this out without. Unless you can. I'm just gonna have to take the seatbelt off, but I'll see if I can just move. I've got the seat out of the bolts. Obviously gonna have to do something about this. It just looks really ratchet. So probably put carpet or something to make it look good. Fuzzy stuff. <laughs> Now these bolts, I'm just gonna screw them back on here so I don't lose them if I ever sell this truck or I wanna put the seats back. I wanna have all the gear, which those clouds are coming fast. And I hear thunder, so I'm gonna speed it up. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna put this back on. I'm probably just gonna tuck it back here. Uh, it's connected over here somehow or something. Oh yeah, thunder is coming. Freaking see now. Freaking sweating. I'm gonna go ahead and get this put in the garage real quick. It's starting to rain pretty good. Uh got the wood out, all the doors shut, and basically just moved the seat up and I'm going to uh undo the seat. <laughs> in the dark so i'm probably not gonna record myself taking this seat out because it's so dark in here uh because it's so tinted these windows are like five percent tinted you even if you're outside up against the window you can't even see in i've had this truck for like seven months haven't got pulled over or they haven't checked it so i'm not really worried about it i love it though so it's gonna be really good for camping um nobody can see in and stuff like that so I think I got like one bolt left. I'm sweating. It's hot in here. I'm gonna hurry up and get this seat done. And my friend's supposed to be pulling up or supposed to be gonna go get food or something like that. Okay, so I just recorded something and it recorded wrong, but it's pouring now. It's been a couple minutes. Uh, I got the seat out. It took me like three minutes to do. Uh, the whole back 
is done. I need to take that seat out, put it in the garage. Um, our friend's coming. We're supposed to go and go. My bad. But like I said, uh, my friend's coming. We're gonna go get some food, and hopefully the rain's done by then. It's sunny over there, but it's dark above us, so hopefully the rain goes away soon. Okay, guys, I'm back. It's the next day, um, so I got all the seats out. It's really messy in here, uh, so. I've been tearing stuff up and like I said, I didn't get this vehicle detailed when I bought this and they didn't de detail the vehicle either. So I like to a bunch of stuff under the seats. Um, I had to go buy some tools um, and I moved some clothes and stuff in here ready because I almost slept in here last night. <laughs> but I got a bunch of my stuff that I need to take out because um, I need to totally redo all this. Now I took the seat belt behind this panel it's peeking out a little bit um i'm really not worried about it now there's a panel right here that's always been missing since i bought it but other than that it's like really spacious uh I'll put a bed right here um like i said I'm, i want to make a flat platform to make it ex look bigger seem bigger i feel like if it's a nice and flat it'll look better bigger feel better and everything like that 